<laughs> What's going on guys and today I have a nice little modding guide for Freedom Wars. So I actually recorded a PvP guide, but the problem was modding was a big part of it. Uh, in terms of like your weapons, you needed to have good mods on your weapons. And that was like a, a, a step. And so it's like I didn't have a modding guide uh, on my channel. So I was like, I gotta make this one first. So there, here we are making this one first. So, anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So, modding is fairly simple, but this tutorial is just gonna be a brief tutorial. Like, I'm not gonna go too, too in depth. Like, it's not my advanced tutorial because advancing, like, advanced modding isn't exactly completely needed. Like, advanced modding is basically putting filling up all 12 slots in your rarity 8 weapon which is not too too important but i will have a advanced tutorial not by me but by somebody else in the description so if you want to go the whole nine yards you can go ahead and check the description and follow that tutorial so yeah for, but for starters uh in terms of modding just you want to know where to remove your mod because you can't remove your mod that's like the only thing you have the ability to do and that that's for certain that's removing your mods. So if you go to code six, like the code area six, and then you go to the floor with starts with an F, you can and you go to the cell garden, you can walk all through this little pathway and you go look at the lady to the right. She can remove mods for 5k entitlement points. That's 5k for one mod. So you take a weapon, take it 5k, and then you know. So that's that's step one. You gotta take your weapon that you want to mod and clear it out of, of mods that aren't needed gray mods on weapons are means that it's not needed for that weapon but of course there are some mods that really aren't exactly needed like movement speed say a weapon has movement speed movement speed is going to be blue on every weapon because it helps you move speed for every like it doesn't matter what weapons on but you don't exactly need it like it doesn't make your weapon any better so that stuff so that's something you can remove off your weapon and get it cleared out like if you have power up xl on your weapon obviously don't remove that keep that on because that's good for every single weapon every weapon needs power up large and power up xl so another thing like i'm gonna go off that um power up basically all mods can be stacked uh you can have power up large and power up xl but you can only have two so make sure you don't try to put up power, power up xl l uh, medium small you can only do it twice so power up XL and power up large so just keep that in mind so you can do it XL and large for basically every mod but you, you don't exactly need to but anyway so next up uh, in the uh, steps is knowing items certain certain resources can add a certain mod to your weapon so this list that I, I have on the screen and it will be a link will be in the description is your best friend this list tells you everything that you need to know basically which which mod which uh, resource puts what mod on your weapon so this is basically right here is where it just makes it so much easier because I remember before when I wanted to mod I didn't know what this list was and I never that's why I never even tried modding then when I found this list modding just got so easy so this list is just so great it tells you what you need and what's everything and as a note this is another big thing selenium is a item that will take a weapon and it'll take its mods off one weapon and put on the weapon that you're modding. Um, so that's another thing. Weapons can be, can mod, weapon mods, like if there's a mod on the weapon, it can be transferred onto another weapon. And of course, like I just said, it can be done with selenium. So things like power up XL and a lot of XL mods, as you can see by this list, the items I need are pretty dang rare. You can only get them in, uh, what's it called, in retribution missions. So. There's another way th around this, and I actually had said something about this briefly in the advanced tutorial. Uh, mission 7-3, if you go to the end, you can just start killing, like, enemy humanoid enemies keep respawning, and you can just keep killing them, and you can pick up their weapons. And they have, these weapons that the, the, these enemies drop are always, they're always, they're really good. Like, a lot of them, 95% 95% of the chance is going to be good mods. And in a run run, if you spend the whole time there, you were bound to get at least one power up xl though those power up xl is kind of like the rarest and it's the more important most important so that's why it's kind of like the rarest but in one run if you stay the whole time time limit you're bound to get one power up xl if not two so yeah and and the, as you're doing that you're gonna get a lot of other mods xls like a lot of them and you're, you're gonna be set you know you're gonna be set but then that makes it so you need a lot of selenium but don't need to fear i am here <laughs> uh you can also farm selenium in mission 2-4 there's other missions you can as well but i just use 2-4 um because there's just one enemy you just kill the T type the Ramosa and so that you can if you search it, it uh, the selenium is a what's it called a resource like a 
area resource so it's one of those blue lighting things so if you go to the higher floors it's like four or five three to three to five one of those floors the selenium will respawn there so and if you don't find it of course you just you can end the mission or you can beat the mission and you can try again and just keep trying until you get selenium if you get the selenium don't quit it kill the monster and then finish up so yeah so with this um uh, with this modding there's still some rng in the mix yes selenium will guarantee the mods will carry over from the fodder weapon to the wing weapon but that's not the main problem sometimes after the weapon has or the mod has been transferred over the weapon ar already on your weapon can get removed or replaced say so say i have power up xl sometimes it get re it gets replaced with a power up small and this power up small gets inherited that's another thing whenever you you're um modding it'll say whenever you look at the end screen it'll be like this is new this is maintained this was inherited and stuff like that so new means i think that i think that's the one that means um it got it got taken from the uh the wep the weapon that you fought it onto it and the new means or inherited means it just came from somewhere you know it just flew into your weapon and those <laughs> those sometimes are good sometimes they're really good sometimes they suck uh, and then so yeah so and then in the mix your your mod that you had on the weapon already might just get erased and just goes to abyss that's when it sucks but you can get around this with save scum if you at placement plus this is really easy all you do is upload your save to the cloud and then whenever if you don't get what you want you download it back download the old save and you can just restart if you don't have this and you have to upload your save to your computer and then you download it back to your computer but it's 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 not too much of a not too bad of a pro uh, bad of a process so it, it really does save you a lot of time as well and a lot of headaches god because i remember i didn't use saves coming in the beginning and it was really annoying so i would recommend it but um so that's gonna get you all the mods you want it's not gonna get you all 12 slots filled because after you've modded it just always adds on random gray mods i don't know why i think it's almost always two or if it's only if you say you only have one spot left it's always like one spot and it just adds that that random mod to it so there is like i said there is a way to get all 12 and all 12 of what you want uh but that, that i'm not gonna do in this video so there's a link in the description like i said again in the beginning um so you can go there if you want to get all 12 so yeah anyways that's gonna be it for this guide uh, as a side note i want to say automatic weapons they love these three mods effective range accuracy and firing speed accuracy is actually really important and in my pvp guide i will be sure i i actually do go over why these mods are so good for automatic weapons so yeah stay stay tuned for the pvp guide if you want to learn more about those so but anyways thank you guys for watching this guy this is actually my fastest guide eight minutes <laughs> i'm proud of myself but anyways yeah so thank you guys for watching the pvp guide will be out soon and yeah i'll see you guys until then peace